Hello, everybody. Uh, Brett Kelly here for a, another Tuesday Tech Tip, and uh, the last in our series of our uh, teasing slash intro to our new Houston modules uh, that are going to be ready for release on July 6th. So uh, before I get into the last one, because we've shown you three or four already, I want to say thank you for two reasons. One, uh, we've had a lot of um, people looking to uh, to use the new modules kind of pre-release. So first of all, big thank you for all you people who want to try it out, both uh, 45 Drives customers and just general cockpit users because a lot of good beta testing, validation testing there, so thank you for that. And two, uh, overall validation that we must have built something that was useful to you because, well, you wanted to use it so fast. So overall, really, really pleased with, um, with the response there. And uh, uh, even in particular, some people have been asking to see the module that you guys haven't seen yet. And uh, well, without further ado, let's, let's, let's show it to you. Uh, cockpit file sharing. Okay, so here we are looking at our landing page of Houston. Again, we've all seen this time and time again. Um, and if we look on our panel here, we have all our new modules plus our newest one, file sharing. Um, let's click right into it. So what file sharing is, is exactly how it sounds. It is Samba and NFS file sharing breaking out, broken out into its own module. Historically, we've always had the ZFS cockpit manager do the Samba and NFS shares as well. But due to some ways that, that um, um, it didn't play as well nicely with the other modules in the system, so we figured it would be best to break that out onto its own thing. So we, uh, the idea of this file sharing tab is whether you're using a, a single server with ZFS or, or any other RAID, uh, you can create Samba shares and NFS shares, or uh, if you're using CephFS. This is built to be able to handle and create SMB shares on top of uh, CephFS, which for people coming from the Ceph world, there is no clean way to do uh, window shares on top of CephFS. So uh, that's kind of the main purpose of taking this and putting it all into its own module. So on quick glance here, what you look at is share management. You can edit your global config of, of your Samba settings, um, which really does not have to be done often, um, but it's there if you need it. Uh, you can add a share. So I'll, I'll add my first share here, call it share one. Uh, I'm not going to give it a description. No, not mount, it's tank, SMB. And then it will auto-complete the path for you. And I've got mine joined a domain, so I'll do Windows ACLs. It does both support if you've joined a domain and you want to do Windows side ACLs, or if you're not in a domain, or if you just want to do Samba side. Uh, if you want to handle your user's permissions on the server side rather than on the Windows side, you can do either or. Um, and a uh, fun little fact here too, when notice I checked the Windows ACL box, it pre-populates the, the share configurations with the well config settings you need. So to make that easy for you. Um, and say you wanted to use shadow copy, for example, uh, you could just click the shadow copy button and it would throw those options in for you too. So the idea here is to just make it a little closer to, you know your application, just click the button. So I'm gonna add the share and we've successfully created share one and it'll just show up like this. Give your name and the share and the path. The boxes down here, user management, group management, um, that's for local shares. This box here is if you're doing uh, Windows AD joins um, and, and want to do Windows side ACLs from there. However, I'm getting into the details. This really is supposed to be a tease, but as you can tell, we are really excited about this one. So I'm going to jump right to the NFS tab, and don't worry, we will do some more videos going through everything you can do with this, uh, with this screen. So NFS, very simple, right? Because NFS can be very simple. So I'll make another one over here too. We'll just call it export one, uh, tank NFS, which two data sets I've created in my ZFS already. And I want to share that out to everyone. I'll leave the default options. You hit add, that simple. So, I mean, I think that's probably enough of a tease. I like kind of clicking back and forth if you notice the spinning uh, 45 drives weight wheel. Uh, that's kind of my favorite feature. <laughs> um, and that's file sharing. So um, we'll do more videos on this, on everything that it can do and, and uh, a, a, as we move forward. But remember, this is a teaser. I'm getting the wrap it up signal from my, my, uh, my videographer over here because, well, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited. So again, July 6th, this will be ready. Cockpit file sharing. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, the cockpit file sharing. Again, all four of these modules will be officially released 
uh, via available via both our GitHub releases, but more importantly, our repositories, uh, July 6th. So, um, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. And honestly, she's a bit emotional. Not because I finished that four-part series, but this is the last time we're shooting a video in this room slash studio. Uh, we think we talked about it in the past, but 45 Drives, we've been growing and getting bigger and growing the team, and that's why we're building all these awesome things. But uh, we ran out of room, and we needed a new building. So we built a new one, and we've been living in it in about a month for about a month now, and uh, uh, I'm loving it. It's great. We've got plenty of room to expand the team, and that's great. But even better, we've got our own studio now so we're gonna we're moving into that room and uh starting next week you will get to see both kind of the wrap-up of everything we talked about for last month and well the new digs so um okay well i guess i have to talk about it because chris chris my videographer cameraman director just overall visionary of the tech tips um has put this rat in front of me if you didn't notice um the story of the rat is, well, I don't even remember what the story of the rat is, but the rat's been here the whole time. If you've ever noticed, and you might want to go back and check, he's in every video. It's a little Easter egg. And I've been trying to move him off screen every time before we shot this video, but Chris keeps putting it back in because he wants me to talk about the stupid rat. Anyway, I don't remember what the story of the rat is, but I feel like we'd be doing him a disservice because he's not going to come with us to our new home. So, um, Mr. Rat, it's been a pleasure. And with that, goodbye.